the Vic was owned by a couple of different people uh, throughout the 30s all the way up until a couple of years ago when Tim purchased it. All of the previous owners did some kind of modification to the vehicle. Uh, all of them were pretty well done given the era in which they were done. I know that there was a lot of uh, I know that there was a lot of lead on the car, which apparently was very common practice for backyard fabrication. Uh, so this was a real hot rod, apparently. But everything's original. Uh, fenders are original, grills original, hoods original, tops original. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, also the cool thing about this car is the history behind it. It's been in Hot Rod magazine. It's been in all the magazines. It won all these shows back in the day. This was a one-of-a-kind deal. It was built by a guy named Jack Picknick. Picknick? Sorry, Jack. I, I might Peaknik. be... Picknick. Something like that. And then Scott if, Yanagahara, I believe, had it as well. He had it after Yeah, Jack. he had it after Jack. He was after a few Jacks. Yes. Or <laughs> there's there's been a couple of people there's that had it. a couple of people. But anyways, uh, old school hot rodder, built it in his garage, you know, took this thing, won all the shows. So it was really cool back in the day, you know. It, looking at it, you know, we've had people come in that saw it before and now, and they're like, whoa, it looks better. The whole side profile looks better. It looks meaner. You know, the, the trick to these cars is always finding the lines, making all the lines jive, flow yeah. accordingly, you know. Um, making it look like it was meant to be. If you can do that, that's, that's what separates you from the normal Joe, I think. I think, that's what I'm told, so I don't know. The original chop was done in the, I believe in the either late 50s or 60s, because some of the work we, when we took it apart, some of the work is really well done and some of the work is not so well done. And I guess it point of view, it's subjective. I'm sure the guys that did it thought they did a great job. But it was originally chopped. It was in a Detroit auto ram of, I, I believe, in the 50s. But I'd have to go back and get that the exact dates. But I said, it's funny that I saw it sold in a, I don't know, Craigslist or something. It's just absolutely perfect chop to this thing. What's really interesting is when I get something that was really popular back in the day and was built back in the 60s or the 70s and was considered cool, and you see the craftsmanship, to what we do today, yeah. it's like, wow, we've come a long way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And were people blind back then? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. <laughs> no, they did a really nice job on the, uh, the chop on this car. Really nice job. But then it seems from the top of the doors down, it just all went to hell. Oh, it's gone through quite a few changes, um, but it's still the original car. And the crazy thing about this car is I know we've gotten phone calls from two people that know I have the car and that have offered to buy the car back because they spent their childhood with this car, going to car shows, detailing it with Jack and driving in it with Jack. And there's so many memories attached to this car that they want to buy it back. So. I gave them a price. They didn't seem interested. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Wonder why. Yeah. <laughs>